learn to think strategic beyond the routine. Yes, it's about not just planning, it's not just thinking, it is about strategic thinking. Moving away from the routine, run of the mill, monotonous thinking. So, when you look at strategic thinking, we need to question to go beyond the routine thinking. And that's the key. Strategic thinking is not just about thinking. It is about thinking, planning and acting on a daily basis to get your desired results relatively easier, faster and better. It is to be used on a daily basis in every meeting with every problem and in every decision making process. So where the thinking gap? So what are the questions? What would you predict or infer from? What ideas can you add to so and so? How would you create or design a, a new situation or a new um, a template, whatever the case may be? What might happen if you combine this one with the other one? What solutions would you suggest for you know, going forward? So vision, and if you want to achieve vision, you must have the strategy. And do you have the strategy? You need several goals, just not one or two, right? And every goal needs a tactic. So that means you actually virtually build on, if you want to achieve the vision, you need a strategy. To achieve the strategy, you need many goals. And to achieve the goals, you need several, several tactics. So your ability to think strategically happens when you have questions. So, do you have the right networks to help you see opportunities before your competitors do? Are you comfortable challenging your own and others' assumptions? Do you learn from mistakes? Can you get a diverse group to bind to a common vision? Do you have probing questions and do you have more questions? The more questions, the more strategic you are likely to be. So we can't solve problems, right? Albert Einstein says, we can't solve problems using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them in the first place. Fantastic. So now think global while we act local. So more than ever before, today's managers, leaders must have a bigger view of their business to stay alert during times of constant change and competition. So, how can you reframe your views and thinking to become more strategic and make yourself a better leader? So let's look at Bloom's taxonomy. So it basically can comprises of uh, you know few dimensions: creating, evaluating, analyzing, applying, understanding, and remembering. Creating, using information to create something new, to design, to build, to plan, to construct, to produce, devise, or invent. When it comes to evaluation, it is critically examining information and making judgments to judge, to critique, to test, defend and criticize. So key in strategic uh, thinking process and analyzing, taking information apart and explore relationships, categorize them, examine them, organize them, reorganize them, compare them, contrast them. And now when it comes to applying, using information in a new but similar form, using diagrams, making a chart, drawing, applying, solving and calculating. And now when it comes to understanding, understanding and making sense out of information, interpreting, summarizing, explaining, inferring, paraphrasing, and discussing. And then finally, ability to remember our thoughts, right? Finding or remembering information, listing them, finding them, naming them, identifying them, locating them, describing them, memorizing them, and defining them. All the six processes of what... Uh, um, Bloom spoke about in his uh, taxonomy. Oh, wonderful. Excellent tools for strategic thinking. Yep. Whole brain thinking is required to plug loopholes. So what do strategic thinkers do? They have the ability to use the whole brain. The left is the logical brain and the right is the creative sides of their brain. And you need to practice as well as you need to practice as well as the confidence to gain this valuable skill. You need the confidence to gain the skill. So you let's look at what is happening here. 
the left brain and the right brain, the IQ versus the EQ. The left is always about analysis, the logic, the facts, the sequencing, the mathematics of it or the language, right? All is coming in the left brain uh, orientation. When we switch to the right brain, there is creativity, there is intuition, there is feelings, there is imagination, there is daydreaming and art. The question is how we cleverly use this in management thinking, the left brain and the right brain. So thereby there is a system that leads to system and there is you that leads to performance. But don't forget when the you're thinking strategically, you're thinking of systems and increasing performance. You're always analyzing and you're always changing, adapting to the different situations. So questioning skills enable you to become strategic. So it always starts with the now. And from now you move to the how. When, when you move from now to the how, we, we call it as a business plan, right? So from the uh, how, you move to the wow and the where. That is a strategic plan. So now how and wow and where is going from business planning to strategic planning. And that's where, how do we get there is the how part of it. And when you look at, you know, where will we be in the future is where you're actually leading to. So the question is, how do we, you know, as an example of how is this related to that? Why is this so significant? Do you know yet another instance where this can be applied or was applied? Could this have happened in the past, right? Or so all these questions enable you to become strategic. So there is the pestle, there is the portus, five forces, and the resources and capabilities. So pestle, right, very clearly stands for political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal changes that continues to bombard any organization or any individual. So what technological opportunities exist for my business? What sociocultural trends provide opportunities for my business? Are there laws or regulations that affect what I can sell or how I can make my product. If these are questions, 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 which helps you automatically think strategy. And when it comes to porters, are other firms in the industry competing based on price or on differentiation? Are new firms coming into this market? Do buyers have attractive substitute options for my offerings? Are suppliers available for the supplies I need? And of course, they you don't. Know, the resources and capabilities. Do we have any special resources or capabilities that our competitors don't? Do we need any resources or capabilities in order to compete with other firms in the industry? The more questions, the finer your strategy. This idea is to develop a probing mind so as to find strategic revelations. My dear friend, if they are revelations, right? So, core critical things are essence are the essence of strategic thinking. So you have the uh, analysis, you have the inference, you have the explanation, you have the evaluation, you have the self-regulation and you have the interpretation. So these are comprising the critical thinking. And when, you, when this critical thinking leads to your strategic planning cycle, you always start with goals right at the top. You see in the middle, right? Your mission always has a goal. Right. The goal is all about where do we want to go and from goals you move on to the desired outcome. How do we get there? From there you move to strategies. How do we measure success? And that leads you to measures and targets. How did we do that? Right. And then finally the results. How can we improve from going on from here? So when you look at the strategic planning cycle that leads you to a strategic advantage, right? So when you look at strategic advantage, you have the uniqueness perceived by the customer and there is a low cost position, right? And on the other side of the axis, you can see industry-wide and particular segment only. So where do you focus? How do you bring in differentiation? How do you bring in overall cost leadership? And they are the essence of strategic thinking, right? And planning that will lead you. So let's look at strategic intelligence the way ahead. The S is all about systematic thinking styles of people or implementation action. So you need to understand thinking styles of people and implementation and action. And thinking differently by knowing how different you are as a personality type, the feeler, intuitor, thinker, sensor. What is your personality type? What method do you use right, inherently, genetically to take forward your thought processes? Right, recognize emerging trends, styles and patterns. And A is all about anticipating change ahead of time and adaptive to change in time. 
the talent of upgradation for continued business success and e is enhance individual learning with help from psychometric assessment psychometric assessment understanding one's mind understanding other people's mind are the key to strategic thinking without which is very difficult to understand why i think like that or why other people think that way right so global thinking strategies for a global impact and i is all about integrating different elements to achieve a common purpose and g is giving you the cutting edge advances through information and technology look at when you start building thinking skills you are describing situations much better you are identifying similarities and differences you are sequencing you are classifying and you are forming analogies so oh, that is where strategic thinking gives you and you know a, a big strength and takes you forward right and you become a major contributor i is about innovate ideas for strategic development nurture personality potential at all levels for collective growth that's very 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 clear we need to identify the personality potential of each and every um, you know critical person in the organization thereby we grow collectively track and assess progress and performance with a strategic intent e is all about envision the goal of aligning the team's differences again psychometric helps to understand why each of the team member thinks differently leverage communication for individual and team contributions leadership is an uh, is an ease and empowerment and excellence based on one strength again psychometric helps you identify the strengths of each individual right to help you in the strategic movement forward implement the vision of the organization g is going beyond boundaries from conflicts to collaboration establishing clear milestones and review mechanism negate the challenges of the individual or the team weaknesses and collaboration of teams and powers and then finally finally you come to emphasizing the need to accelerate the use of strength um of each other so now what happens look at it honey be right in the beginning you notice it's strategic thinking from strategic thinking there is a creative delivery and from creative delivery there are sweet results right wonderful and that's how you get help to assess your thinking strengths and hidden powers to be a strategist so today the behavioral science of psychology has made rapid advances in enabling human understanding and appreciation of your mind's true potential thereby the benefits of psychometric analysis helps you become aware and can make use of it so that you can optimize human capital by entirely making use of the strengths and powers to strategize right and progress despite whatever the challenges so open your mind's door think strategy a wide array of psychometric assessments helps you identify the right and bright strategies to forge ahead in any given situation oscar murphy life strategies right subscribe to our youtube channel for more and then for help in thinking strategic moving away from the routine to strategic thinking please drop an email to learning at oscarmurphy.com wish you all the best think strategic move ahead